In this video we are showing you how to disassemble the turning decoupling at a shaft of a, in this case, UA1650 ADWS. Other models are more or less similar. Make sure uh, the machine is off power and compressed air is turned off so you can move the piston, the pneumatic piston, uh, by hand. In the middle of the the turning decoupling you find an, a screw for an allen key which lets you unscrew the whole unit including a threaded rod that goes inside here into the pneumatic cylinder but before you can actually unscrew it you need to open the lock nut before you can unscrew um, the unit you need to make sure the lock nut at the piston is opened then you can start unscrewing everything by the allen key and hold the, the nut with your fingers because in the end you will be able to remove it this here is the uh, the turning prevention device you will need later on when reassembling it to make sure the piston cannot turn uh, accidentally because it will be damaged. In that case. So once you have uns unscrewed this, this is your lock nut and this is the complete turning decoupling unit that now can be replaced, cleaned or whatever. And always make sure that on top of this aluminum part there is another plastic bearing part that in this case here is inside the, um, the stainless steel shaft. Uh, you need to make sure that this bearing is either in here or either on this part before you assemble um, the unit.